Hey guys, today we are showing you how to make crock pot low carb bacon cheeseburger casserole. Oh, I'm having a whole lot of fun. Back out like casserole. my kitchen. I am Chris from Recipes at Crock.com. I am Mikey from the same thing. <laughs> and we are here today to show you guys a yummy low carb recipe that we're going to make in our casserole crock. I'm not going to joke with you right now people. This is not yummy. This is friggin delicious. <laughs> she made it the other night. She's like, I want to test that. I'm going to take a recipe and I'm going to modify it. I'm going to make it a cheeseburger casserole kind of thing. That's how you talk in my head. how I talk. And so, of course, you know, then it's taste test time because that's my job. And it wasn't just a bite and going, oh, that's good, honey. It was absolutely friggin' delicious. Yeah. Friggin' delicious. Friggin' delicious. Yes. It was very, very good. And it's so easy. And I think you guys are going to like it. It's something you can serve both to low carb people and then if somebody's like but give me the bread you they could eat it on a bun very easily mm -hmm. so we're going to show you how to put it together and then you can decide how you want to serve it um what you're going to need is two pounds of ground beef browned and we're going to put that in this bowl here no in this bowl, bowl. yes we're gonna put that in the bowl. Now you could, like we said before, you could use the Make Ahead ground beef mm -hmm. uh, that we've got on the site. I'll put the link down below. Mm -hmm. Or you could just fry up some ground beef, however you want to do it. I drained it, so most of the fat's off of there. In the water. You probably are gonna need a bigger bowl. <laughs> because we're gonna mix things together. So, so what you do is you take this bowl and you dirty it. <laughs> So we'll have more dishes yeah, to do. Yeah, because, you know, I'll clean yeah. that later. To that, we're going to add a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Glad you said it, because I was talking about it today, and I kept going, all right, so I need to shred up some cheddar cheese, so we'll have some shredded cheddar cheese. And I'm like, <laughs> no, it's shredded cheddar cheese. And I was like, whatever. Okay, so you're going to mix, uh, start mixing that up. I can do that. And then we are going to add, is this a half cup? That is a half a cup of mayonnaise. A half a cup of mayonnaise is going to get, you need to empty it in there, babe. I can't. Oh, I got it. Yep. I got this. And while he's doing that, have you already melted this in the microwave? Warmed it up, yes. Yeah. So you want, it, you want it soft. Yes. So we like to, in dishes that call for cream cheese, we like to pop our brick of cream cheese into the microwave for 30 seconds to get it nice and creamy so that it easily mixes hey, into we're not that. showing them what this is i um, only have so many <laughs> so it'll easily mix in with this mixture that we've got going on okay so ta -da. Ta -da. we also have how many green onions? that is three green onions you want to use only half of that yes so we're going to sprinkle in half of our green onions that we've chopped up Mm -hmm. And I just turned off your camera. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. It's like we've never done this before. Okay. All right. And Ooh, then we're going to... Make sure it stays. Then we're going to salt and pepper to taste. Oh, that tastes good like it is. Okay. All right. So now... I need just a pinch more salt. Okay. Just a pinch. Nah. Okay, so I can do that. I'm married to her. So now what we have reserved here is the other half of our green onions, the other half of our cheese, which is another cup of cheese. And then the and magic the, fairy dust we yes, call crumbled bacon. Crumbled bacon. And how much crumbled that bacon? That is did? eight slices. And that's, I mean, that's, look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That right there. It's not much, but that's eight slices of bacon. That's yes. why you don't pound. That's why this is a bacon cheeseburger casserole. Okay, so go ahead and pop it into your crock pot we're using our casserole crock for this look at that yeah all comes out really easy right there yep all right spread it out spread it out and you just press it down in there this job is so depressing <laughs> you know i thought about making a clown casserole one time but i figured it would taste funny Wah, wah, wah. We need like a dad joke counter to uh, record our pain. 
came, friend. <laughs> What's next? Okay, now we are going to sprinkle all the bacon on top of this yummy, yummy casserole. And you know what so, the cool thing is about all this? It's already cooked. Yeah, so we can have equal bacon distribution. Because <laughs> everybody wants the bacon. So sprinkle the bacon. Just like that. Bacon rain, bacon rain. That was one of my favorite songs. Look at that. Look at that. Equal bacon distribution right there. Okay. Then we're going to do the rest of our green onions and top with the cheese. Then what's going to happen, well, while he finishes that, we're going to put the lid on and you can cook this. Onion rain, onion rain. Sorry. <laughs> you can cook this on high for one to two hours. What we're looking for is all of the cheese to melt and become nice and bubbly. Cheddar rain. Cheddar. You could, that's such a versatile song. If you wanted to cook a little bit longer, you could cook it on low for about two to three. Depending on, your crock pot may take up to four hours, but most likely it'll be nice and bubbly by three hours. Yeah. Um, so we are going to do that, and we'll see you back here. In three. Two. One. And we are back. And this has, is ready. Yes, it has been a little over an hour on high, and everything is nice and cheesy. Check out that casserole, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Cheese for days. Yes, yes, yes. And so what we're going to do is... Just eat. Yes, we're going to scoop some of this out. Like I said, you can eat it, What the way we normally eat it is over a bed of lettuce mm -hmm. with a little bit of tomato. Like a cheeseburger salad. And then you could like, you could serve it with mayo, you could serve it with mustard and low sugar ketchup if you want. And I like it that way, like over a bed of good uh, chopped mm -hmm. up romaine lettuce because it gets, it gives it a crunch to go along with all that. You can eat it in a low carb tortilla. You could also eat it on a low carb bun. They do so, make those. Yes. Or your guests could eat it on all of those things without going the low carb route. So, but we often, sometimes we just eat it like this too. So you want to dig Like this, dig let me in. show you. This is my favorite part. My favorite part of every show really is, is just coming up and talking to you guys. Well, that and eating the finished product. But check it out. Right there, you got bacon and onion and meat and all that cheese. And it's really, really creamy from that cream cheese and that mayo that's soaked in there for, what, a little over an hour? Mm. It's hot. I can promise you that. That's fantastic. Mmm. <clears throat> the bacon's still got a crunch to it a little bit. The onions do too. But it's like super, super creamy in there from all that cream cheese and that mayo. That is so good. One of the things mm. I wanted to tell you guys, <clears throat> the lower fat ground beef that you use, the less um, oils you're gonna have. I mean, you can drain your fat, but also you're gonna have a little oil in here. You can either just serve it with a slotted spoon. Not much of it got out on my plate whenever I did it with a regular spoon either, but you're gonna have a little oil in there. Just ignore it and go on. It's so yummy. Mm -hmm. Good job, babe. Yep. I like it when you find your recipes. Mm -hmm. It makes my job fun. Hey, speaking of fun, you know what else is fun? Giving people thumbs ups. Do that down below. Give us a thumbs up. And if you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, click the subscribe button down below and you'll automatically be a member of the Croc Posse and we'll give you a thumbs up for that. Also, if you want to know as soon as we put up a new video, click the little bell next to it called the ding -a -ling. And that will let you know as soon as we put up a new video and we put them up all the time. Whatever y'all do. Laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye, guys. Ah, I'm getting back at this. Yes. I think I'm going to go get some lettuce to put mine on. I think I'm going to get a bigger bowl. <laughs> Two. One. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, just shot across the... <laughs> I tell you. My bad. <laughs> If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon link below.